Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today we are going to make my March health tracker. And I'm a bit early now because it's only the 15th, but I don't have time to make this next week, so I have to do it already now. So this has changed a lot what it was at the beginning of the month. So maybe you can see and I talked about it in my previous video, but I have glued in some paper pieces and this was I did yesterday. So I'm, I'm really trying to simplify. So this will probably be a lot shorter video. <laughs> Let's see. So previously I had here also my gratitude log, but due to trying to reduce the amount of books that I use every day, I moved my gratitude log into my passport TN. So I have a daily log in here. So I just write the one thing that I'm grateful for the first thing every morning. Let's see. What did I write today? Yeah. Oh, actually I'm right at the end of my journal. So I have to this week change a new one. So I first write the date and then I use two lines to write the thing that I'm grateful for that morning and then I start my daily log. So I have been enjoying that now. It's like there as a reminder for me during the day what I was grateful for that day. I will write these dates now which I chose the green one for March. So this white bear green Faber Castell which I have in this have a good pen, which isn't one of my favorites. So to simplify my tracker, I have moved everything that's like daily reoccurring or every weekday. I have put those in my to-do app as recurring tasks. So every morning the app puts them on my to-do list for that day. So I don't track those anymore in here. So I have mostly like health concern things now in here because emptying my inbox, like my email inbox, that's not, well, it affects my mental health, but it's not like anything that I need to check here if I have been emptying my inbox. Well, maybe if there would be a long streak of not emptying my inbox that would tell me that I haven't been like mentally strong probably but in other ways I don't need to track it here so I have it just on my to-do list and I check it off there then yeah actually yes my I moved my am and pm navigation journaling habits which I did track here, I'm not tracking anymore. So I put those also in my to-do app as reoccurring tasks every day. And then I also put yoga in the app, but that I still track here because I can't track in the app how long the class was that I did. So I like to track that still in here. I don't track this inbox anymore in here. So I put that also like I put a getting things done habit in that app that's every day. And this decluttering, I will track that differently. So I don't have it here anymore. My water intake, I track in my Fitbit app. So I'm not tracking that anymore here. So I just really try to do the thing only once somewhere. The one thing that I'm still tracking here is this sugar free because that I want to see so I stay accountable. And although the Fitbit app also knows about my steps and activity and workouts, those I also want to track here so, so that I see what I'm doing and don't tell myself any lies about. Because if you have watched the previous one, it was I think it was there that I realized that I really haven't done any 
exercise in the previous months. That's something that I think it's good to see, so you are not telling any stories to yourself that you are doing something, although you are not. Oh, oh, um, this is March is too big for my. It can't, I can't fit the M here. Oh no. Or if I put it. If I put it here on the top, then it's not in the way, but it's like. Then it's just it's okay. No, why did I change the color? Green. We are going green now. No, I don't remember what I was talking about. So yes, I was talking about my exercise. That realization that I haven't done those also of course helped but I think that my word of the year which I talked about in the previous setup video which is my word of the year is proud and that's because I want to feel proud of myself of things that I have done. So when the day ends, I feel proud of myself, of my choices, of my actions, of just the day in, in every aspect. And I think that has really helped me because now I'm tracking it here. So with my color code, oh, I have, a, I didn't bring my red one. So it's like the traffic lights, just that the blue is the best. So I track here how I felt about the day, how proud I am of the day. That has helped, I think, because as you can see, I have already now done five workouts. And I think that's more than, more than in last six months. I don't know when I did those workouts last. So because I have been wanting to be proud of myself because I track that and then I also have been taking longer walks and I think I have been walking like more often and and that's just because I want to feel proud. So I think that's so I'm I'm positively surprised how it has affected my choices and it has also affected, I think at least it has helped my food choices. So I'm more likely to choose the non-sugar option because I try to avoid sugar at least in big amounts and I have been very happy about that because when I do better in those I feel better physically and also mentally and then I have more energy to do those things that I want to do so then it's like a positive cycle because then I also when I do more things I'm easily proud of the day or of what I have done so I have been very happy about that because I don't remember that I have been so clearly that I would have chosen a word for my year and or that I would have tracked it. So that's new to me. At least I don't remember that I had done it in the past, but now I'm very I'm very happy about it that I did it. So actually I'm already like excited about choosing my word for next year. I'm just thinking if the year is too long because I I need change. So I'm thinking that if the one year feels like a too long of a time to focus on one word. So if I feel at some point that I have like tackled the word of the year and I'm living it, I'm doing it and I don't need to track it anymore. So maybe then I could like change 
the word of the year. I don't know. It has been a few weeks and I'm already like, okay, this is this is so done and let's move on. But <laughs> I still need to do things. But I'm feeling good about my choice of the word and how it has helped me already. How should I do this now? Does it bother me that March is here? Well, I actually, I just do the color dot, but should I like start tracking from this? Oh no, now I messed up here. It wasn't dry. Oh, what did I, what did happen here? This ink, this is permanent, but it, it smears, so it doesn't, I can't, use highlighters over it so I'm not sure how it would if I would put here a dot with my marker so would it then smear here let's see if I can if I should move this one I could move it one step down here so yeah let's do that so just make a little tweak so it's okay so now i i don't have the green so let's take this and write in black so i have a 0 0.38 refill in this so that i can write here so small and i have been enjoying this now that this is so much less to track it's about half of what I had previously. I had so much here still in January and now I have like only this amount of to track. Well, there's a space empty so I could fit all trackers on one page and then I have a huge amount of space for symptoms. So I think this is now very nice. And I already like try to move my tracker in my passport TN but that was too small. So here it was just so tiny that, I don't know, it just became too hard to see all of the things. Then I should have put it on two pages to keep it clear. But I just decided that I want to keep my health journals separate. Not everything has to be in one book or I don't know. I just, I, I'm so jealous of people who can just like be happy in one book or a few books, but that's not me. I enjoy having a book for one thing because that's, that's just clear. So for now, because I have this, I will keep using it and don't feel bad about having so many books in my lineup. I go quickly through what I have here now. So I track my sleep, my opinion, Fitbit's opinion. I track my yoga, how many minutes I did. I track my sugar-free days. If I went, oh, now I remember what I was planning. Well, next time. <laughs> I was thinking if I should put here, like, because I have these stencils going out for a walk, I could have put this person here walking, but I, I forgot about that. And then here for, I don't know, maybe it's okay like this. And then my activity hours from Fitbit, my if I did any workout, my steps from my Fitbit, the oil pull habit and here I track the how proud I am of the day with the color code and then I put here my hours that I have tracked with my time tracker. I just track some activities like if I do something for, for YouTube or I just like to track things so I know how much time I have spent on different things. So I put that, the daily number, and here I now put the 
how much that was in total in a week. Then I track my evening breathing exercise. 10 minutes is my goal, but if I do less, I just write here the amount that I did like here. We came home so late that I didn't really have the energy to just do five minutes and then go straight to sleep. And then my resting heart rate for the day and with the color code again, pain. So if I had a good day or if I had some pain and then symptoms. So now I have a lot of space to write what was wrong. So why I didn't get the blue color here. That's a bit disturbing me. Let's see if we could fix it a bit. There's my March tracker ready now for next month already. And it's not because February is so short, it's not a lot of time until March starts. So when you are seeing this video, you have only like four or five days left to make your own March setup if you do monthly setups. But I'm I'm proud of myself that I could minimize and simplify or maybe like reduce the amount of tracking that I do here and move things that I'm able to move to the electric electronical or digital advices. So because I don't know, I have been enjoying that now that I take advantage of the digital world where I can, but still keep some things on paper that I feel like is necessary for me to keep on paper. And this is now then because I'm not doing my gratitude log anymore here. And I had planned here that I do, that I use two spreads for every month. But if I just keep now my health tracker and don't add anything in here, so this book will last me a lot longer than just to the end of 24. But I'm trying now to be like, apparently it's not a word that I use very often because I don't come up with it, but I try to be flexible, yeah. That was probably what I was searching for. So I tried to be flexible. And although I have planned how I will use this notebook for the end of 24, I can be now flexible and change it and maybe use it, I don't know, until the end of 25 or even 26. Let's see. And I did move this to my other, this cover because this just goes, the colors go so nicely and I don't, yes, I like it. So nothing new for March, just really focusing on health because there is nothing, well, my activity and the proud thing, but I just, that's also, that's mental health for me, how proud I am and what I do. So I like this, I like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it. So give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye bye.